Now, most of you think of substances as being divided into two types, magnetic and non-magnetic. But in fact, those things that you normally think of as non-magnetic actually exhibit a kind of magnetism called diamagnetism. It's hard to see, but it's there. What I have here is a spirit level full of water. Now, if I bring a very strong magnet towards one end of that, you'll see that it looks as though the bubble is being attracted towards the magnet. If I now move that magnet to the other side of the spirit level, you'll see that the effect is reversed. So in both cases, the bubble appears to be moving towards the magnet. Now let's change the polarity of that magnet and see if see what happens. So I'll now flip it over so that the south pole of the magnet is pointing towards the spirit level and you'll see that same effect. It doesn't matter what the polarity of the magnet is. I'll just flip this over to the other side of the spirit level just to make sure it's behaving the way it should. All right, so it looks as though that bubble is being pulled towards the magnet. But let's not think what the bubble is doing. Let's actually think of what the water is doing. If that bubble is moving towards the magnet, what it means is overall there's a movement of water away from the magnet. And it doesn't matter whether which, which pole of the magnet is towards the water. In other words, the water is slightly repelled by a magnetic field. This is a good example of what we call diamagnetism. The reason why diamagnetism happens is that when a magnetic field passes through a non-magnetic atom, the orbits of the electrons around that atom adjust themselves slightly so that they partially cancel the field passing through them. So now the atom is acting like a weak magnet with its polarity oriented the opposite direction to the field. So that no matter which way the field is pointing, the atom is always slightly repelled by that field. In a superconductor where you see a magnet suspended by a piece of superconductor, this is an example of diamagnetism, but it's a very, very strong form of diamagnetism called perfect diamagnetism. 